Welcome to testingtools.co. Today we will see how to create a simple function library using OpenScript. Create a new project, give a name, and you see here a checkbox which says this script need to be created as a function library, and then click next. Here you have to give a package name and a class name. This is how internally OpenScript will deal with function libraries. It creates a separate set of files. Click on finish. So as uh, any other uh, OpenScript script, uh, you will have the list of three methods, initialize, run, and finalize. Below that, you can write a function. Uh, similarly, like how you write in any Java class or anything. So here an example, uh, we are adding two numbers and then displaying the value of those two variables and the sum of those two variables. So here uh, we are using one uh, existing method called info, which is part of OpenScript API library. Okay. So now uh, you need to also add throws exception. Uh, info is a library or any APIs used of OpenScript. We need to handle them for the uh, exceptions. And then uh, you can create another script where you want to actually call these uh, methods. So before that, uh, you need to add this function library as an asset. So go to assets, click on scripts click add and then select the newly created uh, function library it will also ask you for an alias so that alias is mainly used in the script so go to the uh, java code view and then in the run method uh, you can call the function library with the alias name So if you see here, uh, there's a new line added with the import for the alias name for the functional library. Now I will show you how to insert a statement from the tree view, click on other, and then expand the script functions. Go to the right script, expand it. You'll see the add method, click OK. And then it'll ask you or prompt you to enter the two input parameters. You can either give them directly or click on the icon so that you can you know get value from data bank if you have it already so for now we are going with the hard coded values click ok save the script if you go back and see in the java code it will be same as how you wrote it directly or manually now we will execute and see uh, what is the output that is going to come so this is where we see the output in the console you will see the uh, output for both these statements and this is how it is simple to create a new function library and use them and call them. Thank you so much for watching the video.